，各位同学，各位 agent 啊，海内外啊，国内特别是国内的朋友啊，我们今天很荣幸请到啊，川普大饭店啊，在 Las Vegas 的 Vice President 啊 ，Miss Nicole Green 啊，来跟我们做一个专题的啊报报道。呃，啊，详细的内容啊，我们就啊，现在有请啊 ，Nicole 啊，美丽大方的 Nicole 来跟我们大家介绍川普饭店酒店式的管理跟经营制度。OK 啊、uh, ，Yes， Nicole， can you hear me？ I can hear you. Hear me? Good, good, wonderful. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, just. Just a couple of minutes, then you can start your、uh, camera. Then we can start from there. Okay, can you turn over to your face? Ah, all right, beautiful. <laughs> okay, uh, now uh, let me introduce、uh, Miss Nicole Breen from、uh, Trump Hotel. She is the vice president of the Las Vegas、uh, Trump Hotel. Okay, and other stuff I will leave it to、uh, Nicole. Okay, here you go, Nicole. Okay. okay. So, so just, just a brief description, description of our house. So, so Trump International Hotel, Hotel Las Vegas is actually, actually a condo hotel. hotel. Here, here's the situation just off Las, Las Vegas Boulevard. Boulevard. We, we have, have about twelve hundred and eighty-two units in the, in the building. building. We, we have, have studios, one, one bedrooms, and then penthouse the units available. The prices, the prices start at about two hundred and fifty thousand, going up to three million. The, the product, product, what's nice about, about condo hotels, is the versatility of the products. It can be used as a primary home, a secondary home, or an investment property. Um, most of my clients taking that investment route because the product does have the capability where you can purchase the unit of hotel with rent it on your behalf, giving you the potential, you know, to、uh, possibly have income、uh, or just investing basically into the city and the inventory available. Condo hotel in Las Vegas is some of the most limited inventory that you can purchase here. As there are only about four towers total in the city that are this type of product.、Um, currently, right now, I am standing in a studio residence, and I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera so that you can see it.、Good. This is a king size studio.、Um, it's 526 square feet. As you can see, this one is situated with a king bed and a sitting area with a sofa, and that is a sofa sleeper. And then you have in our studios, which is unlike most hotel rooms. I'm trying to look because I can't flip my camera.、Um, you do have a kitchenette that is here as well. As you can see, there is microwave, a small refrigerator, a two burner stove, and then plenty of built-in cabinetry. Your TV, and then your cabinets and storage and everything is also available. So these residences, even if you were to purchase them for an investment and give it back to the hotel to let the hotel rent it, you can use it as often as you like. So, which does make it nice if you are visiting Las Vegas quite frequently, is that you would have your own home to be able to visit. This is the master bath. So you have your shower with the privacy glass and your restroom, and then a dual. Sink and then a jetted tub, as you can see right there. Kind of difficult. I'm trying to look at my phone while I'm doing this. So the units do come fully furnished. Everything that you see is included. You do own everything. So if you did take ownership as a primary or secondary, everything that you're seeing within my camera would actually become yours. If you choose to put it in the rental program, the way that we gave you the unit, it would be need to stay exactly as we gave it to you, in order to be in the rental program, so that way the units are consistent throughout. The, ho the hotel itself, from an amenity standpoint, does have a pool, a spa, two restaurants, room service, concierge,、um, shuttles, drivers. All of the amenities that you would find at a five-star property. 
Uh, minus the casino and minus the smoking. There is no smoking allowed in this property. So that is just the studio. These residences here that I'm standing in will start at about 250,000. Going up as high as about 360,000, just depending on the floor and the view. They are located with southern views, west, east, and northern views of this strip. The unit that I'm situated in right now does provide you if you're not getting too much of a glare, as you can see, quite the strip of view with where we're located. So, any questions? Wow, nice view. <laughs> is that, uh, which is the casino is that outside there? That one? The one I was at the window? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's actually Las Vegas Boulevard. I'll uh -huh. walk over, get a little bit closer. The morning sun is kind of glaring a little bit, so hopefully you can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah, I see it nice and clear. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So beautiful view. I mean, our, our location is superior when you look at the location of our tower. The Fashion Show Mall is directly across from us. And then we are right next to Wynn and, and Encore, Venetian and Palazzo. Even from any location in our building, you can see the Bellagio Fountains, Caesars Palace, City Center, all the way down to Mandalay Bay. And then wow. you can see that you still have mountain views and on the south side of the building, southern western views as well. Wow, nice. Yeah, you mentioned about the pool. Yeah, I, I visited there. It's on the top floor, right? Uh, it is pool. actually on top of the parking garage. It's yeah, on yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of a hypothetical floor of like the 10th floor, I guess you could say. So you've got your lobby on the first floor, which is where we have our main restaurant, and then uh, our business center and front desk and gift shop and such. And then you would pass through the valet floors, which is where all the parking is, and then get to the amenity level, which is where the fitness center, the spa, the pool, our second restaurant, and some meeting spaces located. So from the the way that the tower is actually built and designed, it's designed a little bit more like a residential tower with the amenities being on their own floor. If you've ever been in one of the hotels in Vegas, usually the pool or the fitness center or spa are all ground floor and you have to walk through a casino to after using those type of services and here you do not. You can just step back into the elevators and, and go back to your residence and not have to actually expose yourself to the ground level of the building. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, uh, is there any student or the agent online uh, have any question that you may ask him right now? Uh, Hontu or Jessica? How about Elaine? Yes, Jessica here. Okay, uh, do you have any question you'd like to ask Nicole? Uh, no, thank you. It's a very nice house, uh, very nice uh, building, yeah. Okay, okay maybe I, I'll ask for them uh, one question regarding once they uh, invest in uh, uh, Trump Hotel, uh, I know that Trump do provide a, uh, like an in income generator, right? For for the uh, whoever live in the Trump, they were rented out for whoever invest on the unit. Right. The, the rental, rental program, program is actually looked at as an amenity. We can't actually disclose information regarding the rental program due to SEC restrictions. Oh, really? Okay. But it's unfortunately give the details of the program other than letting you know that the program is there and can be utilized by the owners. Which again, most of my owners will take advantage of that program and use the program. Um, numbers that I can give you as far as how, you know, how that program might be affected is, I think uh -huh. third uh, the Las Vegas Visitor and Convention Authority does disclose what the strip does on an average, and average-wise, the strip will run 84 to 91% occupancy, with an average daily rate of about $140 a night. So now again, that's taking into consideration all of those properties that you saw outside that window, 
That's right. That has come up rising everything that is on the strip. So we have about 43 million visitors a year in the city. Um, Yeah, so, and only 150,000 hotel homes. So as you can see, the city is obviously quite busy. We are still the number one convention city in the United States. Um, So a lot of activity is, is derived from our convention activity that we hold. Okay, uh, I will leave it. Uh, uh, your phone number to uh, <clears throat> whenever if they were interested on the rental program. Okay, and it's you do, yeah. I mean, like I said, there there is limited information that I can give as far as the rental program is concerned. Uh, but I can also provide them assistance on how to find more information than I can provide. Oh, okay. I see. Good. Wonderful. And uh, okay, uh, I just have one uh, one more question. Uh, I remember uh, a couple of years ago when I talked to uh, uh, the earlier uh, the other gentleman. Okay, uh, he mentioned about that uh, about the unit uh, Trump Hotel do reserve a fund for. I don't know for how long they will do the remodel for each unit, something like that? Yeah, so when, when somebody does purchase, there's a, a fund called the capital contribution that is made at closing. It's a one-time contribution, and it actually equates to three months of the HOA. So for, on, for instance, one thing that we did not discuss, on a studio like this, the HOA is about $518 a month. Um, that does cover all the amenities in the tower as well as almost all the utilities. The only utility that is not covered is mm-hmm. your electricity, which on this unit would average about $35 a month. But on the note of that 518, what happens is that closing, they're going to collect three months of that HOA, which will be actually distributed to the capital contribution, which goes to the main reserve for this tower. So. That That main main reserve reserve will assist assist in any kind of future renovations or things that might need to occur with the, you know, the building building itself itself as time time goes on. Renovation is usually handled every eight to 10 years years on a property property like like this. this. We're already at eight years and we're not quite in need of the renovation. As you can see, the units are in fantastic condition. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, uh, before I let you go, I would just ask, uh, any other student or agent online that you have any question, anything, uh, you can ask now. Uh, Jessica or Ilan, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Jessica, here. Good, good, good. Uh, any question you may a uh, way chain? No question. Um, okay, that's uh, okay. Um, all right. So um, it's okay. Uh, I, you, uh, Nicole, you can give us your contact phone number. So uh, it, it is 702 476 8402 is directly to my desk. I will go ahead and give you my cell phone number. It is 702-321-1212. And my email, Michael, you can send out my email just so in case anybody wants to email me sure, and send out the primary package. Um, that will cover you know, a lot of what I discussed, plus a little bit more as far as unit-specific availability. Um, I'd be happy to email anyone a pricing package that they can utilize for their clientele. Um, if you'd like to email me directly. Wonderful. Okay, I'll, I'll also send them the e- your email and contact information. Okay. Perfect. Okay, wonderful, Nicole. I appreciate your time and thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Talk to you later. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.